Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to track influencer campaigns like a pro. And in fact, I'm going to show you how to track every single click from any source that you want. We're going to jump right into it. And the whole idea here is to have more data. When you make database decisions, you're going to be in a winning position. What is a database decision? Basically, when you say, okay, well, I'm running a campaign with this influencer and they've generated 120 clicks and 13 sales. So you say, okay, I've made this amount of money. I paid them 35 bucks. I profited here, right? I'm showing, I'm looking at the data and it's telling me this is how many clicks I've got. This is how much money I've made, et cetera, et cetera. The more data you have, the better you can make these decisions. And when you're running campaigns, that's the number one thing you need to answer. You say, okay, is this campaign working or not? Am I gonna scale this campaign? Am I gonna cut this campaign? Am I gonna continue this campaign? You need to be able to track clicks, sales that come in from various sources, various sites, various times. You could be getting traffic all at the same time. You have to understand exactly where it's coming from. And this is very, very common when it comes to influencer marketing. And there's no doubt that influencers work great. They generate sales, they generate clicks, they generate the type of customers that we want, but how do we track them? We need to be able to accurately track and attribute sales per influencer over the course of the campaign. So we wanna know again, is this influencer working? Is it worth our time and our money to work with this influencer again? What are the results? And there are definitely some pain points that you're gonna run into when you try to do the tracking. I'm gonna show you the solution in terms of what I use, but when you do, uh, or when you've run into the iOS 14 plus uh, updates, everyone has, you really understand that Facebook ad tracking, Instagram ad tracking, um, YouTube ad tracking, Google ad tracking, they've all suffered significant losses because of the, you know, the privacy updates. Um, in terms of the tracking limitations and things like that. Most of the time, you're unable to get accurate data. A lot of times you just don't get any data at all. And it's even worse with Shopify. There's no built-in tracking, there's no reporting. You need to use an app. I'm gonna show you the app that I use. And again, when it comes to influencer campaigns, this is super, super important. There can be a lot of different influencers generating traffic, especially generating traffic at the exact same time. So it's hard to understand who is performing best. It's hard to answer that question in terms of the uh, advertising campaigns, what is working? So how do you answer that question? Well, you set up link tracking and the variety of different cool tracking methods that I'm gonna show you with shortly. And this is what I use, this is what all my students use, this is what I highly recommend. It's an incredibly powerful tool, it's a Shopify app. You see the link directly below this video and we're gonna go over the shoulder, I'm gonna show you shortly in action. But it's a really great tool. It's going to allow you to track not only for influencers, but anytime that you want to understand clicks and sales, right, you'll be able to track with shortly. And here's that link, or here's the app page right here. You see the link again directly below this video. This is shortly the Short Links and Conversion Pro app and a great a bunch of five star reviews. I'm going to show you over here 4.8 out of five star. You can just see five star review after five star review over and over and over and over in terms of all of these uh, great five star reviews coming through. And this is really all about creating those links that are trackable, right, for clicks and for sales, knowing where we're getting the results from, knowing who is generating the result, what influencer is making us the most money, what ad campaign is generating the most sales, and on the flip side, what ad campaign is not. Right? We, how are we going to be able to determine the success if we don't know the stats? Shortly is going to ensure that we always have this. We're going to be able to create shortened URLs for influencer marketing, for social media posts, for email marketing campaigns, of course, for your ad campaigns as well, using your own store domain. So they're going to be fully branded. It's going to look great. Really cool. On top of that, this isn't just short links. This is about driving conversions. You're going to be able to offer automated discounts. And I'm going to show you this in action, but we're going to encourage customers to purchase multiple items, driving up our average order value, driving up our profit, driving up our sales, and we're going to have discounts kind of built in. You'll see how that works. But really, iOS 14 plus updates kind of go out the window here because we're going to be able to track clicks and sales by these links and really powerful for uh, influencers, right? Imagine you have a whole handful of influencers promoting your product. You have a specific link for each of them being able to track everything. You come in here into the dashboard, you see exactly what's going on, how many clicks, how many orders, what's the revenue, right? You can go in there and click more. You could look at notes as well to keep track of every single update that's going on here. And then you could look on kind of a individual basis, seeing on the graph a visual uh, kind of representation of these key stats and this is again empowering you 
to continue to drive the campaigns that are working and to shut off the campaigns that are not by having this really great dashboard. So again, you could also offer the discounts. You'll have the discount bar here driving some urgency and scarcity. And I'll walk you through that as we go over the shoulder, but a really great app, lots of great reviews as well. Uh, make sure you click on the link again directly below this video, but we're going to go over the shoulder. All you need to do is just simply press the add app button, and this is going to install the app into your store. Then you'll press the green install app button on the top and you'll select the premium over here. You have two choices. Always going to go with the premium plan over here and you get the seven day free trial and we'll be brought into our shortly dashboard and very, very easy. We're going to see all of our preloaded checkout links over here, but we have different uh, sections over here. We're going to come back first up into settings. And of course, we can go to the help section up here to have our full kind of help desk and uh, kind of learning tools here. So you can definitely check that out. But I'm going to show you the kind of most important things over here. When we have our coupon announcement bar. We could, of course, customize the colors. I have a red, black and white color scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and implement my color scheme over here. We could change the positioning as well. We could have the discount bar on the top or the bottom. Really up to you. We have our coupon bar text, which we can copy all this. We could change our default domain as well in terms of those shortened links. We could actually go ahead and use our full domain over here. Very powerful to do that. Sales tracking, typically I keep this at seven over here. And if you need to do a Chrome extension, you can go ahead and get that over here to generate the token and set that up. Now you're really gonna be spending most of your time in the create link section and the analytics section. Of course, analytics is gonna to start to show you all of the different link clicks total clicks, total orders, total revenue. You'll be able to track through everything and see all of the data pop in over here. We could even create groups and uh, kind of aggregate different cohorts over here. Very powerful, but I'm gonna show you, like I said, what you're gonna be doing most. We've already set up our settings here, very easy. Now what we wanna do is actually create some links. And you can imagine that you're working with a bunch of influencers, right? So let's use that as an example. Let's say you have a Shopify print on demand store and you want influencers to start to promote your apparel, your t-shirts, your wall art. So you need to start giving them links, right? We're going to give them links and we want to know who is driving the most sales and the most clicks. We're going to do that right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this product page and I'm going to take this and copy the link. Okay. That's the first step. And what we need to do under landing page URL is we're just going to simply paste in this link. And there's a couple different things that we could add on top of it, right? We could add discounts. We could add UTM tracking, right? This is going to be really great if you use Google Analytics. We could even add specific things in the announcement bar in terms of specific icons and text and all that great stuff. So let's keep it very simple at first. We're just going to give a basic link. And what we want to do is create a shortened link. So it's going to be not only look nice on social media, but also something that we can track. And we're just going to come over here and put uh, influencer one, you probably customize this. Let's say the influencer's name is John. You could put John here or Justin or whatever the person's name is, or really anything that's brandable here. This is going to be the clickable and shareable link. And all we need to do is press create. You're going to see what happens. This link is now created and I'm going to copy this. I'll open it up into a new uh, window over here. I'm just going to paste in this link. You're going to see what's going to happen is we're going to, of course, get redirected immediately right to that product page that I set. So no delay, no JavaScripts or anything that's going to slow down. It's not going to uh, it really, the customer's not going to notice at all. They'll wind up on that website that we wanted to uh, send them to over here. Now, the power really, when we come into analytics immediately, is we're going to start seeing those stats, right? We see the one total click. And of course, we see no orders because I didn't place an order, right? If I did place an order, we'd literally go ahead and be able to see the orders. We can come over here and take a look at the revenue details and we could take a look at the traffic stats over here. We could add notes, say uh, influencer posted on Sunday and we could kind of keep track of everything right inside of here. It's really incredibly powerful. And you could imagine that you have multiple uh, influencers running. You literally come over here and say, okay, I want to check up how influencer one is doing, go in and search. And even if you have thousands of different links, you'll be able to pull those up in the analytics very, very easily. So let's create a little bit uh, kind of a more advanced example. <clears throat> again, UTM is very good for tracking, but I want to show you the discount over here. So I'm going to come over here again. I'm going to select the same product. Okay. So we'll come over here and we'll paste this in here. This time we're going to turn on discount. And I mean, it couldn't be any simpler. We have the option to do percentage. We have the option to do fixed amount, and we have the option to use our own coupon code. If we had already created one, inside of our Shopify admin. We don't need to create one over here because we're going to actually just use an automatically created one by shortly. So how about we do a percentage? We'll do something like how about 25% and we'll now create this uh, link. 
and you'll see that if you don't enter in anything, I wanted to show this as an example, it's just gonna automatically add in some characters over here. Obviously this is less brandable, but if you don't need the, uh, or if you don't want to go ahead and create a link or a link name, it's going to just automatically create one. So I'll copy this one. Go ahead, open up a new window again. I'm gonna show you how this one looks. Remember that we said a little different over here. Here is our coupon code. So we have our coupon, we have our little incentive over here. Let's say you run an ad that says, or you have an influencer saying, hey, click on my link for 25% off. Here's that coupon code, we can click to copy it. And we're gonna have all the tracking still preserved just like we would with the other link. But now we have a discount bar enabled on top of here. We could even kind of go back and uh, show you analytics again. We're gonna see this new entry right, right over here. And we'd see the orders, we'd see any uses of discount codes and things like that. Really, really powerful. And we could even take it a step further when we come and actually customize the announcement top bar over here. So we could have a bunch of different things going on at once. So let's go ahead and create this one. We'll paste in the URL again. This time I'll call it uh, example two. We will do a percentage off, how about 50%. We'll come over here and now we have this uh, text that we can come over and actually change over here. We're gonna say, uh, what we said 50% and we could change uh, any of these. We'll make it sticky and we'll change this. How about to a different color over here to match our theme and we'll create this link. Really, really simple, right? There's not a lot of things that you need to kind of worry about here. We're just entering in the different options that we want. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link and you're gonna see what gets set up here. Now we have our discount up top with the colors that we set. Here's our code, the 50% off, right? So again, full control over how it's gonna look, full control over the link text, full control over the discount, and again, that uh, fully updating analytics so we know exactly what's going on. This is the power. Imagine that these are three different influencers that you found. They all launch their campaigns on the same day. They each cost you, let's say, $50 to do. As the campaign runs on, we're gonna start to see the stats. And whoever has the most revenue, right, that's gonna be the most profitable campaign. So we say, okay, well, we spent $50 on all these. Uh, this uh, Influencer 1 sold the most. This is the most successful campaign. Now we can go back to Influencer 1 and do more campaigns, right? This is the idea of not running in the dark. We have full stats, we have full analytics, and we have full data. And you see how it updates literally in real time. We have all of that data to really run with. And this doesn't have to just be influencers. This could be ads, this could be social media posts, this could be email marketing. You set it up the same way. You have the full tracking over here, not only clicks, but orders and revenue as well. That's why Shortly is so powerful. Another cool feature come up here, preloaded checkout links. We're gonna see all of our different products loaded in here and we can literally just come over here and select a couple different ones. We're gonna go ahead and uh, add the large variant in each case, we're gonna come over here, add this one as well. So we could have a preloaded uh, checkout link with these two products, and we could even add more products if we want as well. And we'll be able to generate this link right over here. And now we have an actual preloaded link. We could send this in email, in promotion, right? And when they go ahead and actually do it, those products are gonna be added into the cart. And there you see we have those two large variants with that link directly bringing us into the cart with it added in there. Really, really powerful. Now I'm in the group section up top over here. We're gonna click create new group. And this is great for influencers. And we can put over here, how about influencer set number one. And this would be uh, our first influencer promos. And we could add a, a uh, image if we wanted over here. We're gonna go ahead and now create our first group. So now that we have a group set up, we can go ahead and view our group details. Of course, we could edit them as well. And when we're inside here, we're able to add links into this group. And you see that each different group will have its own set of uh, stats. And this is so powerful. This is one of the best features. When you're doing influencer marketing, right, we can go ahead and create our links, right? We can go ahead and create these example links. We can go ahead and create new links in here. We could have discount links on here. We'll go ahead and add these into our group. And you're gonna see once we add links into our group, they're gonna be shown down here. I'll come over here and reload this. And now we have groups with links, with individual stats, and on an individual basis, we're able to come in here and say, okay, influencer one did this, influencer two did that, influencer three did this, or you could even have multiple influencers inside of a group. You could have groups set up just for one influencer. You have full control over this, but you're able to see everything here right in the ad, uh, or I'm sorry, in the stats dashboard. We could even share this with influencers so they could be able to see their stats. You could even use this to figure out how much your influencer is owed. We can come over here, click this little dollar icon. This is the revenue details, and it's gonna show every single order. It's gonna show revenue, date, clicks, 
total revenue, right? So if you're doing a rev share, if you're doing a performance-based pay, if you want your influencers to remain active and see how they're doing, you could literally share these tables with them and they're gonna have that full access. You're gonna have that full access as well to see exactly how they're performing for your store. So that was Shortly, the Short Links and Conversion Pro app. Again, highly recommended. Make sure you click the link directly below this video. Seven day free trial comes along with it. So you get this in your store, see just how powerful the tracking is here and just how powerful the uh, bump in conversions are when you turn on those automated discounts. So watch this video again if you have to, follow the step-by-step, -step, get this into your store, and I hope this helps you make some money. Talk to you real soon. Thanks a lot.